everybody, welcome to the banks of the Four Ponds Pool for another one of our rig tying sessions. Today we're going to be tying the spinner rig, or as everybody knows it, the Ronnie rig. The products we're going to need to tie this particular rig are a size 4 wide gape hook. Now I must stress that um, you must use a size 4 on this. I have used in the past smaller hooks and it gave me some really dodgy hook holes. Um, as soon as I stepped up to the size 4, um, they were fine. You can use the curved chain hook if you want, I just prefer the size 4 wide gape. And you're going to need some, some shrink tube, the colour in it again doesn't particularly matter. Um, yeah, as you can see there's some green, this is a charcoal grey I'm going to, going, to, going to be using. You're going to need a, um, a swivel. A swivel rig swivel if that makes sense to you these are designed to um, mount hooks on make it very easy to do it you're going to need a bait screw or a micro ring swivel and some hook stops right guys the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our size 4 hook and a piece of shrink tube oops it's, I've already cut it to size. I'll explain a little bit about the length that you need in, in a little while. So we're just going to slide it onto the hook shank like so. You see that there? Is that okay? Next, we're going to take our swivel. And as you can see with these, whoops, get my hands out of the way. As you can see with these swivels, you can see there's an open end there. And we're going to pass that through the bottom of the eye and pull it through. So it's sitting on the hook like that. Now there is some debate as to which way round these swivels should go. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. Whatever, whatever makes you happy, go for it. Once you've got the swivel in that position, take the shrink tube and slide it down over the eye of the hook like so. Now, remember what I said about length? You want, to cover, you, want to, you want to cover all the eye of the hook and the top of the swivel where we mounted the hook on and just about halfway down the uh, bottom half of the swivel like so. Uh, I'm just going to slide that down. Now this probably isn't going to work now because it's nice and breezy here. So next take your lighter and melt your shrink tube down like so. Now you can do this over a kettle, but I find it a lot better and a lot easier with a lighter. You see, there we go. See how tight that nut locks it down? Just let it cool for a second. We'll just set a slight angle into it like that. So as you can see, we've got a slight angle on it, like so. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our bait screw and we're going to push it over the point of the hook and round the bend. There we go, so it's sitting on the back of the hook like so. Again, I'll just get my hands out of the way so I can show you. There we go. Now the fiddly bit, the bit I hate. Take your hook, hook stop Push it over the uh, over the point of the hook, the hook like so. Oops, can't get it down. Oh, I keep saying whoops. There we go. Just force it round. Take your time with it, guys. It will go on. These will go on. These come in all various shapes and forms. Um, now that goes on like so, and I like to push it down just to where the bend of the hook starts. There we go. As you can see, you can see it all sits together nicely like that. The next stage is we're going to mount our boom section. So take your already assembled, because that is what it is, it's an assembly rather than. Right guys, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to attach the boom section to the rig itself. So we take 
ready, ready done, ready, Ronnie rig. And we pass the boom section to there, like so. And we're just going to knock this down nice and steady. So we're going to wrap that round once, twice, three, four times. I'm going to pass it back through the hole there, like so, and then back through there, like so. I'm just going to pull it down and snug it down nice and steadily. There we go. It's got the rig tying tool. I'm sorry, the rig tightener. Push it through. And we're just going to pull that nice and tight to tighten everything up. Moving it up like so. There we go. There's our knot on there like that. There we go. And now we're going to cut off that tag end. And cut it off. Like so. And all we'll have to do now is to tie the rig to length. So we're going to take roughly about six inches of the uh, marked out about six inches. We're going to fold it over and we're going to tie our figure of eight loop knot in it. So we're going to form a loop like that, twist, and pass it back to there, like so. We're going to pull that down nice and steady. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our rig tighteners again, or rig pullers, or whatever you like to call them. And we're going to give it one pull down to snag down. There we go. There we go. Just pull like that to get it nice and everything nice and tight. So nothing's going to go anywhere on there. We're going to remove the tag end on this. Like so. There we go. Now, what I'd normally say, guys, at this point is I would normally get the kettle out and steam everything nice and straight. But guess who's come fishing today and I've forgotten is kettle so i can't do that unfortunately next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the bait onto the hook itself so we're going to take our baits this one's impulse chuck and banana nut mix it's a pop-up obviously this is a being a pop-up rig take our bait like so going to push the bait screw into it quite firmly to start off with and then just twist the bait on like so now the last thing we're going to do on this rig is we need because you get me a pointer this is a pop-up so it's buoyant now, so what we're going to need is some sort of counterbalance here to stop it um, popping up. Otherwise, it will pop up the length of the rig off the bottom, like so. Off the bottom. Well, that's not what we want in this case. So we're going to take some tungsten putty. There we go. And we're just going to mould it round the knot at the end as neat as you want 
we spend hours doing this if you want, just making it nice and neat. There we go. So what will happen now is we'll cast out because of that tungsten putty. The rig will sink like that. The putty will sit on the bottom. And the pop-up will sit up about an inch and a half off the bottom. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys.